Okay, so if uh, if the premise of this is that it's not difficult, it just looks difficult, we need the reason why this exists. Mathematicians like to make up symbols for things. So if they had to write the sum of, how many, how many letters is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight letters, that's way too much writing for mathematicians. So somebody at some point decided, let's let's use a symbol so we don't always have to write the sum of, right? Just like just like anything else, any other mathematical symbol you've had, this is the symbol that they use. This symbol means the sum of. Okay? That's the first thing to understand here. When you see that symbol, it means the sum of. It's not difficult once you internalize what that means. I will sh I'll draw a parallel for you. What does this mean? Equals. What is what does that what does that mean? Like tell me what it means. Explain what it means. If you're explaining to a little kid what it meant. If I use this symbol, like when can I use that symbol? How do I use that symbol? Be brave. What's that? When two things are the same, right? If you put something on this side and you put something on that side. If you're explaining to a little kid, you probably wouldn't put variables and stuff. You might put 1 plus 3 equals 4, right? Those are the same. If I ask, I mean, you guys are, you've used that symbol for so long that it's intuitive. You don't, you don't have to think about what that means. To a grade 8, they don't have the same level of understanding of that symbol that you do because they do things like this. They, they, they write... Uh, like they think, I think grade eights think it's like a comma or a pause because they'll go six plus twelve equals eighteen, and then you got to divide by three, which is uh, six, and then I have to add four, which is ten. Like they they use it as a kind of a separator between all their arithmetic steps, and you point out to them, you say, well look what you've got over here. What does that equal? And what does this equal? And what does this equal? Like every single one of these is different. They don't use it the way it is properly used. They would still say it's an equal sign, but they don't have the same level of understanding as you do. If I asked my uh, six-year-old what that is, what would she say? I don't know, it's two lines? Like, she doesn't have any understanding of it. If you, you Once you gain an understanding of what the symbols mean, it's easy. You don't consider this difficult, right? You won't consider this difficult when you internalize what that means. So if you see something like that, that has this, at the very least you see this as, this is the sum of something. It's a shorthand for the sum of something. Now all this other stuff, we're going to look at what that means. If you wanted to write out this sequence right here, or this series, a shorthand for that. You might not want to write out a shorthand if there's only seven terms, but if there's a thousand terms, you don't want to write all the thousand terms that are there. If I, if I had a uh, general formula for this, like this is 3 times plus 3 times 2 plus 3 times 2 squared, right? That's what these are. Plus 3 times 2 to the third and so on, right? That's what, these, that's what each of these terms are. The formula for this is 3 times 2 to the, I guess I could put it here, 3 times 2 to the what power here. If I'm numbering these, with n, and I'm numbering it from 1 up to how many here? 5, 6, there's 7 terms there, right? If n goes from 1 to 7, the general term for this for any of those terms is 3 times 2 to the n minus 1, right? We've written general term formulas before. You have something that has a first term of 3 and common ratio of Two. This is the formula for that. That tells you what form those numbers take. So if you wanted to say the sum of numbers of the form 3 times 2 to the n minus 1, the, the mathematicians would use this symbol here for this, right? That means the sum of, right? This is the sum of. 
if you want to say this, numbers of the form that, that formula, you just put that formula down after it. The sum of numbers of that form, just put that down. 3 times 2 to the n minus 1. So this means the sum of a sequence where that's what the numbers look like. That's the formula for how to write the numbers. But we need one more thing here. We need to know something to do with this. We need to know what values of n we're talking about. For values of n from what to what? From 1 to 7. Somebody decided that a good place for that would be on the top and the bottom of that symbol, of that sigma, that Greek letter. This is a Greek letter sigma. It's just used to represent sum. It corresponds to the English letter S. But somebody decided that they will put n equals 1 here and 7 up there to say starting at 1 and ending at 7. Okay, that's what that means. So this, this represents starting at 1 and ending at 7. This thing represents the sum of. And then this part is, this is what the numbers look like. Okay? If you, if you are okay with that, then you'll be okay with everything here.